Hi everybody, this is So Heidi, and this quick tip is on using Average and Join in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to do this demonstration using a symmetrical object. Um, I'm going to show you with this pocket here. So what I've done first is just drawn half of the pocket. When I draw symmetrical objects, I typically only draw one half of it. Since the other side looks exactly the same, we will just mirror or reflect it and then join the points in the middle, um, thus uh, cutting our workload in half. So first I'm going to create a center front guide along these um, edges. So I grab that from my ruler. I've got my smart guides on so that snaps exactly to the edge of these points. If you, if you aren't getting the snap, just go view and turn your smart guides on or command or control U. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll select our pocket and using the reflect tool on our toolbar it's right here. If it's not coming up, it might be because it's under your rotate tool. You can also get to it by hitting the letter O. So we grab that. Now, we want to reflect this pocket over to the right side. Now, if you hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and click on the guide using the reflect tool, it will automatically reflect that on the guide's axis. So it's putting it in the perfect position to line up on the other side. Now, we've got our preview on so you can see that that's correct. Um, instead of just hitting OK, we want to hit copy. So it will keep the one on the left and it will make a copy of the one on the right reflecting it. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got our pocket drawn. Now I've decided that this is a little bit too narrow of a pocket and I really want it to be wider. So what I'm going to do is just grab the right side Holding shift while I do this to maintain my axis, I'm dragging it over to the right. Okay. Now what we want to do is join these points so that everything is one continuous object. With your direct selection tool, um, the little white arrow, click on that. And what you want to do is grab two endpoints on separate segments. Okay. What the join tool allows you to do is... Uh, join two points on two separate segments. Now they have to be endpoints and they have to be um, separate, uh, separated from each other. Um, if you get some errors, it might be for various reasons. If things are grouped a certain way, it might not work. Um, so you just might have to ungroup some things in order to get this to work. So we grab those two points, go Object, Path, Join. Now you can also, you see the shortcut here on the Mac is Command J, it would be Control J on the PC, so we'll do that. So now this line is one consecutive line up here. Okay, we'll grab our direct selection tool again, grab these two endpoints. You can also get to this by right clicking, join. Okay, so you have a couple ways to do it. You've got your shortcut, right click, or grabbing it from your object path menu here. Okay, now the last lines that we want to join, if we choose to join these, I'm just going to do Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC, we'll get a straight line. Now that's not exactly what we want because we want our pocket to have a perfect point at the bottom. So this is where the average um, function comes into play. So what it will do is it will average either and or the horizontal or the vertical so you can say do the horizontal or do the vertical or do both so object path average um, now let's try horizontal and see what happens it didn't do anything because these are already on the exact same horizontal plane what it does is it averages the position on the plane so object path average. Now we want to do the vertical. Perfect. Okay, and there's also some shortcuts to get to that. Um, object, path, average. You can see the shortcut here. Option, command, shift, J on the Mac or alt, control, shift, J on the PC. Now we already know that we want to average the vertical. Okay, you can also get to that by your right click. Right click average. Okay, now we'll zoom in on these points. Now what that did is it just averaged the position of those two points. Um, they're not one continuous line segment. You can see they're not joined yet. So we'll just want to join them real fast. So join those two. Join those two. 
And now we've got our pocket that's perfectly symmetrical and everything is set up as one, all the lines within our, our continuous lines. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.